consciousness and the, the creation of the universe and all this order and sequence and harmony. You understand? If it was a creator, then was that creator also consciousness, you know, of consciousness to bring about order, to bring about sequence, to bring about laws in this universe that the universe got to live by. You understand what I'm saying? That takes consciousness, okay? Order takes intelligence. If matter cannot be destroyed, then matter must have always been here. Do you hear what the fuck people is saying? It says if matter cannot be destroyed, then matter must have always been here, okay? So what we what we doing, we understanding that science has a God complex. You understand what I'm saying? They know that this consciousness, because we look out, and if it is, it's the melanin. It's the cosmic melanin that you see, which is the same element that's inside of your body and your brain. You understand what I'm saying? It shows your divinity by your connection to the sun. It's the melanin. It's the cosmic melanin. It's more melanin in the universe than any other thing. And because he does not have a stake, he's trying to clip you of your divinity and of your connection to the universe and replace that with the worship of him, whether it's as Jesus or as the goddamn scientist. You understand? Some niggas worship the white Jesus. Some niggas worship the white scientist. So science is a religion and science has a God complex. Science is another way for the white man to play God, re recreating vast areas of the past, which not one living human has any hand, first hand account of. Okay, you don't have no first hand account. So you want to dominate that. You don't want to have a divine origin for the black man and woman. In every civilization that we uh, are a part of in Africa, even in the uh, Naga Kushites over in Southern Asia, we were always of a divine origin. Consciousness resides in the brain. Did man, now, this is hard. Now, I, I thought about this this morning. You know, consciousness resides in the brain. Did man create the universe? The African man and woman? When I say man, understand that's gender neutral. You understand for me? When I'm talking about my people, I always speak in battle. So when I speak of man, I also speak of woman. Okay? Did woman and man, African woman, cre create the universe? Then lose knowledge of how he or she did it as a divine trial to him or herself to prove they could reclaim it again as the greatest proof that we and she will always be God and is eternal and forever. Did we do that? Did we do that? Because when you think of consciousness, consciousness resides where? In the brain. It's in the brain. So if, if, if our consciousness is residing in our brain, right? And we everything that we create and everything comes from our mind and our brain. You understand what I'm saying? What created this universe? Which is, you understand, which is of consciousness. And we know that con it, so is it the melanin? Is it the brain? But we know that the, the melanin is created in the brain. We talking, we don't know, but I'm throwing things out there. You understand? Because we're looking at ourselves and we're looking at the universe. And that's what our ancestors did. Whether they knew if it was the truth or not, they moving in a harmonious uh, order with creation. That's why when you see the universe, they show it as new, as the mother, the cosmic mother. Because they saw many of the uh, things in creation and the laws of creation in themselves. And they knew if the creator being a divine, righteous creator created everything that we see and the laws and orders of the universe, then if we live by them here on the planet, that we would all would also be moving towards creation, divinity. You understand what I'm saying? Eternity. We ourselves will be moving in that direction. And so that's what we did. Evolution teaches that African people have a natural propensity to be inferior mentally challenged, criminally inclined, un unable to expand past the level of a child on the level of a brute, half a step up from the muck. From this hideous racist lie, white people can dictate when they 
came to Africa, our people were savages and cannibals. If it wasn't for him, he, uh, we would, would still be in that condition. That's the white man's burden. When he enslaved us, it was the best thing for us because we would not have developed to where we are today. He can also justify murdering and imprisoning us because we, we cannot develop past the savage state, forcing the white man to do the things he does. Shoot us down, lock us up, you understand? Not give us a job because now he got a scientific racist theory in which he didn't create it to keep us out of every sector of society. Ultimately, we state, he uh he state uh ultimately we state that there is no more. Ultimately, he states that there is no more he could do to help us develop past the beast, beast state and set up grounds for extermination. Okay? Evolution presupposes that creation is forever moving towards perfection, and imperfections will eventually die out. Okay? And so now we looking at the three wickedest goddamn crackers I know ever on the planet. Or oh, you're looking at old Charles Darwin, look like a monkey. He got all, he got the hair just like a monkey. His, his old weak ass cousin, Francis Galton. And Francis Galton was partners with Flinders Petrie, who was one of the lead Egyptologists. So I and, and I don't even understand how niggas. You know, we had to crack niggas' heads on that. You understand what I'm saying? Had to crack niggas' heads on that. I d personally did the research and seen that Flinders Petrie, who got a damn near filled up the British Museum with Egyptian artifacts, one of the lead Egyptologists where all other Egyptologists followed behind him, believed that a white race created Egypt, taught that shit. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, Flinders Petrie was sending mummies from Egypt to Francis Galton, who worked out at UCLA in California. That's where the cracker worked at. And they say he was filling up UCLA with so many Egyptian mummies that he didn't even have enough goddamn rooms out there. So that show you right there where evolution, the races, eugenics, goddamn plan, parenthood, and even Egyptology, and even when you look at the goddamn tree, now we, you know, Pharaoh went over Margaret Sanger being the founder of the Birth Control League. Then it changed to uh, Planned Parenthood, wiping out African babies, all you know, and all the shit that they said about African people. I'm gonna get off into. So when you look at it, eugenics, it says eugenics is the self direction of human evolution. So where Charles Darwin come up with a, a, a racist, you know, despiritualized unscientific theory about creation and humankind you understand francis galton say well even though we know that evolution is pushing towards perfection we gonna help it out so he put in place you understand a workable racist program to help get rid of what they call the inferior races on the planet and once he put in place the workable uh, uh, racist, you know, program to get rid of the race of uh, what they uh, term the uh, undesirable races of the planet. Oh, Ma Margaret Sanger with her wicked ass came along and brought forth the, the organization that was going to fulfill that program, which was Planned Parenthood, wiping out millions of African people today. And you can see at the bottom of the tree that eugenics is a part of every fucking thing in society. Do you see it? Biology, psychology, mental testing, anthropo uh, anthropometry, okay? Whatever that fuck that means. You understand? They got so many wicked ass science they didn't created. History, geology, okay? So it go even goes into geology, archaeology. So eugenics even in anthropology, ethnology. Ge geography, statistics, law, politics, economics, okay, biography, uh, genealogy, okay, you niggas running down there to the goddamn, you know, to get your goddamn genealogy, showing you that you, you see the tree. That means that eugenics is a part, and all those uh, sciences, fake 
pseudosciences is what is the roots of eugenics. Psychiatry, surgery, and medicine. That's why they poisoning your ass. If they trying to wipe you out, God damn it, then they putting the shit in the drugs, in the weed, okay, in the CVSs, the right aid, which is the wrong aid. CVS pharmacy, not the goddamn pharmacy, the pharmacy. You go in the goddamn fucking uh, hospital, your ass check in, but you don't check out. You die, they killing our people before motherfucker go in there for a broke bone, come out dead. Motherfucker say, God damn, what happened to him? He went in there for something so simple, okay? And so, again, we looking at, this is what they say the world came from. How the fuck could you imagine coming life coming out of some gases, goddamn poisonous ass soup, you know, primordial soup? If you drink that shit, you would die, okay? So how the fuck life gonna come out of something? You it, That's just like going down where they put the goddamn the, uh, the uh, corporations be flooding the damn water with all type of oil and gas and shit. Go down there and drink it, nigga. This shit is a, a million times even more chemically, you know, induced than the shit down there around them goddamn plants and shit. So if that shit will kill a motherfucker and if lead in the goddamn water is doing that shit to people's in Flint, imagine drinking some shit like this, nigga. And so this is the sickness. This is the chaotic sickness of motherfuckers believing that a fish would come out of water and last long enough. You understand what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if each fish and the next motherfucker step up and say, I'm, I'm, after he die, I'm coming. And the next nigga, every fish in the goddamn ocean will be dead before one will ever, ever, ever walk. Okay? And that's just like a man. You take your ass and go up under that water. And go up under that water, nigga, and see how long. And how many men do you think it would take, you know, to go up under the water and die before a motherfucker turned into a fish or the goddamn human race go extinct? What you think will happen for first? You understand what I'm saying? Do you think that eventually man would develop gills or you do you think the goddamn human race would go extinct trying to go up under the goddamn water? Okay, now let me come back to this. Okay, let me come back to this. Now, another thing, we're talking about evolution, because I'm about to get off into, you know, the the, the uh, slides and shit. You know what I'm saying? What the, okay, and I, I should have brained it, but I should have pushed this down, and I'll come back to that. Matter of fact, let me push this down. Let me push this down. Let me push this down. Straight up. Because this need to be further down. This need to be further down. They're going to get it today. We're going to crush that shit in all totality today. Can't keep, we, can't, we can't go this route. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to bring this down right up in here. Okay? Now, I'm, I, I, I did this uh, even when I we talking about for cynic facial reconstruction. And I have to go over that because I'm looking at, you know, they when you go on the internet today and you pull up evolution, they got all these new models. New. Do you understand me? So they, they put their funding in continuing to push this shit. This shit ain't up there by itself because it's, it's pulling in another motherfucking uh, generation of, uh, of, you know, African people and European people and all other people that believe this sick shit. It, it reinforces white supremacy. It reinforces African black inferiority. It continues to do it. And so, you know, there's a consciousness behind that, a wicked consciousness. So you right there, you looking at this, this witch, Elizabeth Dines, because she was the one that not only created that fake ass Nefertiti they just tried to bring out last year, she was also responsible for the fake King Tut, okay? That came, you know, about five years before the Nefertiti. She created both of them. But not only did she re uh, recreate these false goddamn images, She's also putting out a lot of recreations 
or creation, fake recreation, reconstruction of a lot of fossils. You understand? They got so many different, you know, different hominoids. And see, early on, one of the uh, major uh, hits to the evolution was that they could not find the transitional fossils, okay? Or what they term missing link. What does that mean? Okay, you talking about coming from a monkey to a man. Okay, so with the transitional fossils would mean as man or as the monkey is evolving, say for instance, this motherfucker, we got smooth skin. Okay. So, you know, he it's gonna be some 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 humanoids that got a little bit of smooth skin, still got a tail, still got some fur. What evolved? You gonna have some monkeys where they probably still got monkey feet, got some goddamn human arms. You understand what I'm saying? Got a human face, but got some monkey ears and shit. This, that, and the third. You understand? It's gonna be transitional fossils. They never found any trans. And Darwin spoke on that. So with the motherfucking, the way they can recreate shit today, they making the missing links. They making the missing links. And where they didn't have no missing links, they making the motherfucker look half African. You understand? They working the shit. They got a narrative. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you all of that shit. It's fake. I got the rules to facial reconstruction. I brought it up a long time ago. Okay, so she created the fake King Tut re recreation and the fake uh, Queen Nefertiti re uh, re uh, reconstruction. Now, this is the Smithsonian, the National Museum, the, the National Museum of Natural History. And it's talking about uh, for scenic facial reconstruction. I'm getting into this before I even show you this shit. So you already know advance of what this shit is. Okay, the skull provides clues to personal print appearance, the brow ridge, the distance between the eye orbits, the shape of the nasal chamber, the shape and projection of the nasal bone, the chin's form, and the overall profile of the facial bones all determine uh, facial features in life. Okay, now let me come over here so you can read this. The finished product only approximates actual appearance because the cranium does not reflect soft tissue detail. Eye, hair color, and skin color, facial hair, the shape of lips, and how much fat tissue covers the bone. That includes the nose. That includes the goddamn nose. You can get close, but that, that includes any fatty tissue on, on the body, on the skull. Yet a facial con re reconstruction can put a name on an un uh, unidentified body in a modern forensic case or in, ar in, a, in an archaeological investigation of face on history. Now, this is uh, author Jennifer Chase. She's an international award-winning author in criminology. Listen to what she said. There are limitations to the facial reconstruction by the artist sculptor. Now, I brought this out, and I don't know if I put it in there. They consider, many people consider uh, for a cynic facial reconstruction not to be a science, but an art. It's not a goddamn science, because too much of the person who's creating it is using their own imagination to fill in the goddamn blanks, okay? So uh, when I show you how they know they don't have no missing links in between the monkey and the man and how they motherfuckers is making all these so-called hominoids look half monkey, half African and shit, now we understand what the fuck is going on. Where they didn't have the missing links, they making a reconstruction, making fake constructions of these missing links to fill in the gaps. This is all they... They making their reality. They re, you know, they creating a racist reality. And we got to understand the limitations of these people and what the fuck they doing to bring them about such a racist, racist, you know, theory that's gonna keep us locked in 
where we act forever until they decide that we can no longer develop as a species and set up an extermination date for our ass, just like Hitler did many of them goddamn Jews over there. Because he used the eugenics of the motherfucking United States. I go over this shit over and over again. He used the goddamn eugenicists of the United States, the top eugenicists, as his basis to what he did. To, and motherfuckers don't talk about the black people that Hitler exterminated over there. Okay, I got the shit tonight. God damn it, don't just stay where you at. I got it. You know what I'm saying? He used these motherfuckers over here to bring about his blueprint to do what he did, not only to uh, the Jews, but the blacks over there too. And a, a whole lot of other people that they deem uh, inferior. Okay, now listen to what she said. There are limitations to the facial reconstruction by the artist, sculptor. You see, artists, the hair color, here we go, hairstyles, facial expression, shape of lips, eye color, how much fat on, uh, uh, on soft tissue areas, you know, and how much fat on soft tissue areas are generalized guesses, okay? General, however, the complete reconstructions have been successful in many cases to help narrow down searches and assist in identification. And in that, most of the time when they do that, they not going off of uh, just, you know, blank, you know, information. They got a picture, okay? They not just going off, they got pictures right there on how they trying to recreate the goddamn uh, skull. And then, you know, and if they can fill in what they see on the goddamn picture, on the skull, and it seems like it's a match, then that's what they do. But I got many pictures where motherfuckers didn't even have no picture. And they have some goddamn, you know, and they usually don't use for scenic facial reconstruction only when they don't have no DNA or the motherfucker don't got no teeth. Because if they got teeth, they'll use dental records. And if they got DNA, they'll use both of them before that just show you that is not the top thing they would do to try to prove nobody's identity. Okay, let me move forward. So here, if you look on the right, you understand, you see reconstruction, the actual photograph of Green River victim, Gail Matthews. The victim had distinctive lips, which could not be represented in the reconstruction as her body was decomposed. So she was decomposed, but this still was something left. But you see that, you know, she see, you get, she got certain type of lips that they could not recreate. So you can't motherfucking recreate soft tish, tissue on nobody. And at least they, you know, they had some idea of what she looked like because her body was still there. So they could re, you know, duplicate some of it. Now you talking about a goddamn fucking skull that's millions of years old and you can't duplicate the hair that's why to the left they got all kind of hair dudes okay they got all type of colors of the hair up there because they cannot you know duplicate hair uh soft skin color lips eye color none of that none of that so it's up to the motherfucking artist to create that shit how they want Soft tissue includes the nose. Now let's go into this. Okay, let me show you how racist these motherfuckers are. So when we get to these motherfucking, uh, these monkeys and shit that they, you know what they done done. Now let me tell you something. A master, a master artist is when they, if you, if you got a master artist, it's, it's gonna be hard to, you know, when a master artist is drawing you, they, these motherfuckers is almost perfect. The only thing you're going to get better than a master artist is a, a photo. That's it. So that man is sitting right next to him, and you can see how he didn't damn near drew a damn replica of the man. Look just like him. You know, and why am I saying that? Because this white bitch, when it recreated King Tut and Nefertiti after you had master artists, master sculptors, in the time in which he lived, created hundreds of images of King Tut showing him basically to be an African. And then these motherfuckers come thousands of years later with an agenda to recreate his face and show him as a peck of wood. It's an agenda. 
okay? Once you understand the rules, now you understand why they're doing the shit that they doing, okay? Again, now you see this artist right here, got the sister right next to him. The ancient artisans were looking directly at Tut when they created these statues and images. So if they were looking directly at them and they masters, you're not going to beat a master artist in a, a replica of an individual unless you got a goddamn photo. That's about the, you know, that's about the, the, the premier way of, you know, duplicating the image of an in individual is a photo. The next is a master artist. OK, again, you see this. This master, there's no way that you can produce a better representation of a person than a skilled artisan looking directly at the person. And you see, again, the only thing that will probably be more accurate is a photo. And lastly, you see right here, just to show you again and again and again, that if an artist, a master artist or sculptor is looking directly at the person, you understand what I'm saying? Is, is You cannot duplicate that. You cannot duplicate that. It's it's a, a premier work of art, okay? So let me go through these. Now, look at, we gonna, you know, because they, now they didn't have the missing links. You see what I'm saying? They did not have the missing links. And so now what they have to do is through for scenic reconstruction, make up some goddamn missing links. And, and notice, and when we go and see how it ends with the white man, see, he didn't have to show too many white, you know, hominoids in the monkey state. By the time they get into the white man, they looking more modern. You see what I'm saying? If I'm using that word loosely, because I don't believe no European image is modern, but it can get worse. Okay, I believe that. You see them goddamn beasts with all that hair on their goddamn body it can most definitely get worse. And so the question I kept asking is why don't you see the modern African man or woman before you get to the white man? You know why? Because he considers you part of the monkey. You understand what I'm saying? He considers you part of the monkey. Let me get in there. Look, the white man is shown as the modern man while Africans are the lowest form of a man close to the ape. Now look at that. You see, the first three is monkey. See, they don't have no evidence of the missing links. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you look at the first one, Mo Monkey. And then you see the second one, he got that heavy uh, brow ridge. You see what I'm saying? His face is stuck. You see where the first one got that, pr that protruding mouth like a monkey. Now, the second one, you see, is not so much protruding. You see the nose of the first one is more protruding. Then the second one is, is starting to look like it's starting to form. You see what I'm saying? This is what I mean about by the missing links. And, and, but understand them. And then the second one, the third one is looking more, you know, humanoid, but still monkey. See, these is the transitional uh, fossils that they don't have. This is a fucking racist, artistic motherfucking creation by the European. Now ask yourself, now you see the third one looking almost more African. You understand what I'm saying? And now he look like he got a little, little, little short Afro, wondering how in the fuck the monkey stayed in Africa for millions of years with straight hair and then all that time and then at the end, his hair turned woolly. You see what I'm saying? If the environment is what causes the African hair to be woolly, why did why wouldn't the uh, monkey hair been woolly from the motherfucking beginning? If that was the case, if it was based on the environment, and so why would his hair had turned woolly? What was the evolution in that? And then turn right back straight. Look at that. So the motherfucking monkey hair is actually straight in the beginning. Then you see the nigga. So that's really the nigga. He trying to show to you that that, but he's still looking monkey. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm asking the question, why don't they just show between the third and the white man, the modern black man? And they will not do that because they consider us to be the third monkey in the motherfucking way. So they motherfucking showing you in your face that how they feel about you. And look at the motherfucking white man. 
His brow is now sticking out just like the second goddamn monkey. Look at that. Look at his brow. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I'm asking you, which way is evolution going? You understand what I'm saying? Is it, if it's moving forward and you done moved out the, the brow, the, you know, the protruding brow ridge, if you're moving out of that, how do you go back into it with the white man? You see that? That show you right there that they lie. The white man is, okay, let me move forward. Why don't they show the modern African after the eight before the white man? Because that will reveal, will reveal what they really thought about the African being a half of a step up from the eight. One of the biggest uh, holes in uh, Darwin, I put some fiction, Darwin's theory was the missing link stage of development from man to monkey. They already have a so when we talking about why they and how and why they created them, them them missing links to look black and African, they already had a preconceived narrative that they were working with. So when they created the so-called early hominoids, they made them look black to continue the nigger is a monkey racist hypothesis. Okay? And so when we're talking about evolution. You understand what I'm saying? And it don't have no rules. And we move into why is there death? Okay? What caused death? You know, why does it have to be death? Why didn't life evolve to live forever? You see what I'm saying? Why is that? If that's if that's you know, if that's uh creation moving towards perfection, then it should be moving towards a living forever. And it's not doing that. So this is the manipulation of forcenic facial reconstruction to mir miraculously create the missing links that was a major hole in the theory of evolution. So you see right here, you know what I'm saying? When, you, when we talked about what they could do with that. See the color? They added that shit to that skull. They don't know what the fuck the color was. You understand what I'm saying? The lips, see how they made it red? The eyes, they, didn't, they don't know what the fuck the, you know, the, you know, the eyes look like. You understand what I'm saying? So now they trying to make it, you know, each one that they make, they, they changing it up a little bit, where it's moving, looking like it's more and more human. And then if you go down, and it's almost maybe 20 different motherfucking so-called hominoid, all the motherfuckers is monkeys. Every last one of them is a monkey. You understand what I'm saying? Whether it died out or not, it's a motherfucking monkey. And so when they try to make it look half human, this that's coming from their own racist motherfucking mind. This motherfucker right here, John Gautry, whatever the fuck his name is, ain't nothing but a scientific hit. They go fluorescent for a renaissance, okay? And then you got the other one called Homo Hopkins. And see, you see they trying to make it look half eight and half, you know, human. You understand when it got a nose, got a look, but still got that monkey brow. And you see they got straight hair. So where at have you ever seen a straight hair tribe in Africa? Okay, you never seen that. And so when you're talking about environment, our hair has always been woolly. So if we was, if the monkey was in Africa for all that long with straight hair, if he did hair change to woolly, then why would it revert back and go to the white man with straight hair? Okay, if you're moving forward, you understand what I'm saying? In a, in, in a, a process of evolution and perfection, if the if monkey's hair, and like we just said, you cannot tell what hair is on the skull. So, you know what I'm saying? You cannot tell the color. So they purposely made all them so-called types, missing links, black as they could. Look at that, okay? Now, you got one motherfucker. Now, this is somebody else who made the same uh, hominoid, and it looked more African. You understand? But, it, you know, I don't know who created it. You understand what I'm saying? Now, nah, that just show you you can have two different motherfuckers with two di whole di now this one got woolly hair. This one like the uh the sign people, okay? The sign people, okay? Now I don't have no uh belief or nothing in none of that shit. You understand? I can see 
that the brow is still a monkey type of brow on the one on the right, but that's based on the artist's conception of where they going with it. And again, that's why they consider, you know, a, a, a facial reconstruction to be an art and not a science because it's largely based on the particular sculptor or art, artist, where they, their imagination and where they going with it. So this motherfucker got him all dark, straight hair, and the same homo florinesis it over here look like the sign people. Okay, so there is no uniform. Now, when you look at the motherfucker to the left that they say is homo florinesis, it look like one of them goddamn Dravidians. Straight hair look just like her. Okay, so what the fuck is we, what the fuck is going on when we still accepting any kind of information from these motherfuckers and we cracking their ass in all the lies, racist lies, racist recreation? Let me keep it moving. Look at it. In there, just you know, making up in from a little ass skull, and he recreating all this shit, painting black, and put him out there as an ancestor of evolution. Okay, now you got one motherfucker right here, Homo habilis. Somebody else recreated this. This is in Mexico. This is at the Manuel Gomez Morin Cultural Educational Center in Mexico. So that's Homo habilis. That look more like. Oh, God. Now, which one of these motherfuckers over here, homo habilis? Right there. So you got that one as homo habilis to the right, and then you come over here, and this is homo habilis. That more homo habilis. And so I'm, my question is, if there was some damn, the de-evolution process, were all of those types really in Asia? And they trying to stick them in out. Is did that de you know, and I'm not gonna even say they devolving, but we 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 for the sake of you know balancing the scale evolution and de-evolution, because we're gonna prove that they did not come from us, but we can prove that there's some unnatural types on this planet that should not be here. You understand what I'm saying? We'll use the term de-evolution and you know for the sake of argument. You see, look at this. So you got all these types. This is homo, uh, and they got so Rhodesia, man. You see what I'm saying? Got a large bra on his motherfucking head, you know? And so now when it comes to the so-called uh, Neanderthals and Cro-Magnum, man, even though them is some ugly, they make them look more modern. Not to say that any of them motherfuckers look modern, but they look damn near like a white man look today. See, they didn't have, they don't show themselves in the monkey and that's Dane. That's Elizabeth Dane. It's the same one that took and recreated King Tut, recreated Nefertiti, and just like Pharaoh went over. So when you're talking about National Geographic, almost human, you don't understand. That's a cold word, nigga, for three-fifths. And so if we're going to get on the goddamn Constitution, the government, if we're going to get on goddamn Gucci and Prada, how we not getting on? Because we don't understand... This is where all of that shit get the basis of the three-fifths of, of Prada and all that showing us as monkeys, sambos. And this is where they get it from old Charles Weak-Ass Darwin, uh, Francis Galton. These are the two motherfuckers that gave them the working scientific theories and abilities to say the shit that they say. Now, I heard motherfuckers, and I'm bringing this shit up, you dumb motherfucker. I had to go stoop. Motherfucker say, it don't say we evolved from monkeys. It say that man and monkey got a common ancestor. Wait a minute, motherfucker. Is you, you know, do you think I'm stupid, nigga? Do you think I'm stupid? I heard motherfuckers say that. We don't, you see the one in the way, the second one, all the way at the top. It say, pro -cons. He's the second one from the top. And then to the left, you see the monkey. And then to the right, you see the gabons. And then going down to the bottom, you see the so-called different types missing links till you get to hom homo safety. So the one, the second one from the top is the one they talking about that man ain't come from monkey, that man and monkey had a common ancestor. If the motherfucking thing 
that produced the monkey, if he if the monkey is an evolution of the common ancestor, he was more of a goddamn monkey than the monkey. If that motherfucker created the monkey, he was more, he was more of a monkey. Okay, then the goddamn monkey. If the monkey broke off from him and is an evolution of what the common ancestor was, so they think they doing us a favor by saying, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we don't come from monkeys. We come from a, a common ancestor. And the common ancestor is on a lower stage than the goddamn monkey. Bitches, who the fuck is you fooling, nigga? So you got to watch the shit that they saying, you know. And so this is another recreation by the white boy. You see what I'm saying? These is, uh, you know, all see, these are the missing links that they do not have. So what they're doing with this facial reconstruction, which we must tell people, they don't have the ability to tell you the, how big the nose was. You understand the lips, the color in the skin, the eye, the hair. That motherfucker had a narrative that he was working with with the very fucking beginning, and he made it look like an apple. You see what I'm saying? You can see the fucking, uh, you go to the top, you can see, you know, how he's filling it in, making it chocolate. You understand what I'm saying? Look at that shit. Recre making the, 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 the racist missing links and shit, making them, because they don't have them. And they know they don't got them. And Darwin even brought that up. So through this, this unscientific, you know, racist art form of facial reconstruction, now they're making fakes to fill it in. You understand what I mean? We got to tell our people exactly, you know, what's going on. Why don't Africans have straight hair today if they closest to the monkey? You understand what I'm saying? If you look at that shit, you understand the white boy got straight hair, the monkeys got straight hair, okay, and the nigga got woolly hair. So if the nigga is the you know the last stage in the monkey and his hair turned woolly, that's evolution. So if his hair turned woolly, then why would the white boy hair go back to the motherfucking straight hair that he didn't evolved out of that? See, that don't make no motherfucking sense. Bitch, get out of my face. You motherfucking devil, you. You understand what I'm saying? Look at this. See how they make all they types look more modern. But then when our types come up, they make them look like apes. You understand what I'm saying? Let me move through. So these is all the so-called missing links. And they just add some, you know, keep adding motherfuckers and shit. Road deep. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have no evidence whatsoever that now one of, one of them damn fake goddamn hominoids, because they all fake, all of them bitches is monkeys, and ain't now one of them evolved into no African. Man, a European, okay? It's okay for Europeans to show monkey types as a step before the African, but soon as you flip it and show characteristics between whites and monkeys, they have a problem, okay? And so this is where they get this from, okay? This is where they get this. So we attack this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because we see that as the overt. But then the same racist motherfucker, he jumped and you look at the eugenics and he show you that all the vibes, even media and shit, is a part of that. You don't attack the whole tree. You go down there and attack one vine. Oh, the bitch put a sweater on. So fucking what? God damn it, you, yo, you got millions of babies all over this guy, hundreds, tens of millions of African babies all over the world through the British, the French, the United States, Canada, and every other European nation that control the education of black people all over the planet being taught this shit. So if you ready to go to war with Gucci and Prada, and you ready to go with any type of black face, this, that, and the third, get on these crackers about, but you yet and still, you sit up there and let them teach this racist shit in the goddamn classroom, in the university, many niggas sit right out there and let these professors put this shit up in their face and do not rise up to strike this shit down and make an example out of this shit in front of other black so they'll know exactly what the fuck is being taught. You understand what I'm saying? They let that shit go on and on and on and on and on. Okay? Let me keep it moving. Again, showing niggas as much. And if they tell you this is where you came from, and then say based on evolution that you stuck in this stage 
and that, you know, we done done everything that we can to try to develop this nigga up out of this savage state, and we cannot do it. There's only two things that we can do, either lock the nigga up or exterminate the nigga, okay? So here we looking at, here we looking. So we attack this, you understand? And most niggas don't even wear Gucci no motherfucking way. But you got hundreds of millions of African babies in the goddamn school system every fucking day getting taught this shit. And you ain't said a motherfucking word about none of that. So I consider this shit to be fake than a motherfucker. This is just opportunist motherfucking attempts to make it look like you're black, nigga. You understand? That's the way I look. And so you got Prada and all this shit. That's where this shit come from. And so when they recreate, look at what they doing. You understand what I'm saying? Taking African people. Okay, recreating them in the image of the monkey. And then when they create the now see this one got woolly hair. But again, it's still gonna see this is the these are the missing and make them look African and shit. Now let's get us some goddamn four Senate reconstructionists and let's put this shit like it's supposed to be and show these motherfuckers in the museum devolving and shit, hair all over their body and shit, and show them with the tails and put their babies on goddamn display with the goddamn tail. Let's do that. Let's try that and see what they call us. And they can sit up here right in our goddamn and put this shit in the museum, funded by all type of niggas and shit that tax pay them money and every goddamn university money. Your babies is going to these universities, paying motherfucking tuition, Paying these crackers goddamn uh uh they salaries and shit, and they create this shit, put it in the goddamn museum, and niggas don't say shit. Okay, this is a fake recreation to make it seem like niggas came from monkeys. God damn it, we should be attacked.